Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I've been a while since I've made a video on anything. Today we're going to be showing you how to use a uh, Rockstar Editor to take pictures in 5M. A lot of people have been asking me because I do take a lot of nice screenshots through the game. I have specific folders. So here are like a couple of examples of what I do with my uh, screenshots. Like get you know specific angles make things look nice that way you're not just taking the random screenshot that uh is in game once again these are just a few of the examples so i'm going to show you guys how to essentially get started with it this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to edit the video aspect this is going to be how you get into game record a small clip load that clip into the rockstar editor as well as go in, use a free camera. I will show you guys some of the effects that you can use just to make the photo pop a little more. I'm also going to show you guys how to crop these photos and convert them into the right format so it comes out a little more clear for you. Uh, do you mind if I get a small uh, a screenshot of your car? Yeah, that's fine. All right, guys. So we're going to go out here. Uh, he's nice enough to help out with this. Yep, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, so in order to get your screenshot, you need to do a slash record. It's going to record a small clip. You want to get at least three to five seconds. So slash record is going to be to start it. Slash save clip is going to be to stop and uh, save it. All right, so we're going to fly back out of here and head into the Rockstar Editor now. Now, we're going to start Rockstar uh, or 5M back up and we're going to go into the Rockstar Editor which is going to be the replay editor in the bottom left of your screen. So as you load up there's going to be something in the bottom left it's going to say replay editor you're going to click on that and launch replay editor. I'm going to teach you guys the uh, the basic um, the basic controls on how to use it how to zoom in zoom out uh, move up down tilt your camera all that stuff. So we're going to press enter, go to create new project. It's going to ask you if you want to start a new project. You click yes. You want to go to add clip. You always want to go to clip by date because that will be like in the order that you guys actually took the uh, the recordings. So we're going to do the one that we just took with uh, Mike. So we have a few options here. We can go to cameras and we have different uh, presets. Uh, so it'll focus on your character, front, rear, right, left, up. Uh, the game camera is just like what you're looking at, your overall uh, like POV. Free camera, once you do this and you go down to edit camera, you can start to move your camera around. So if you hold your left click, it'll let you look around. Your uh, A and D will be to move left and right. Your W and S is going to be moved forward and backward. If you want to zoom in and out, your zoom in is going to be your C key. Your zoom out is going to be your Z. If you want to tilt your camera, left or right, that is going to be your left and right arrow keys. But the way I do this, I never want to show myself in the middle of the photo. So it takes some getting used to. I'd say start dragging the camera and using your W, S, A, and D to kind of like see how it works. And wherever you point your camera is going to be where the camera goes. So say I point down and I press W, it's going to go right into the ground. Uh, also, Q is to uh, go down, E is to go up. Now, I want to get a nice picture of him sitting on his car. I always like getting like a, uh, like an angle of the car showing the side profile with a little bit of the front. So as you can see, we still have the, uh, the shutter uh, look of it. You can see all these lines on the screen. If you want to get those to disappear all you have to do is press your h key now move everything out of your way and at this point you can just go and find out like what kind of look you want to go for so up in the top right you can see i have some text up here i have some text down here so in order to do this the way i want to i will keep an eye on where that goes across on the screen that way I can find a good cutoff point for the car and all of this stuff. Once again, that cutoff point is going to be just around his head. If I feel like it's too close, I can move it or move the camera out a little bit. Once again, E is to go up, Q is to go down, C is to zoom in, 
Z is to uh, zoom out. If you want to move the camera like this, you're going to hold your left click on your mouse and just drag it around. Let's see. So W, S, A, and D is forward, backward, left, and right. So and H is to bring the shutter or the uh, the camera effect on and then off the screen. If you don't want your mouse showing, all you have to do is just drag it off to the right side of your screen. So right here, this is going to be the uh, the picture I get for him. You'll use your F12 to save your screenshot, which you can see down here. So I'm also going to show you guys real quick how to find your uh, your folder for that. So we're going to go to our Steam window. And we're going to go to this search bar here. And we're going to type in source SDK. Oh, It's going to be source SDK to uh, 2007. So when you go here, you'll have these screenshots showing on your uh, on your page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that, click on it. Now up here, it's going to show a folder. It's going to say show on disk. All you need to do is go to this. So you're going to have your uh, location here. If you want to get to this quicker, all you have to do is click the numbers right before screenshots. You're going to right click that and all you have to do is pin to quick access. I already have mine uh, pinned up at the top here so I'm not going to do that. So these are all my screenshots for 5M. But so what we're going to do we are going to go and edit this so we can post it to the public discord. This right here is going to be to crop your image. You just click that. All you need to do, you don't need to move this in, you don't need to move this in. You just want to get rid of the text down here and the text up here. So we'll just drag that down. You can still see like it's uh, still showing all of his head. We'll drag this up a little bit. It's fine. It's cutting off a little bit of the car. So we're going to go save options. You're going to go to save as a copy. I have a specific uh, folder set up for these screenshots. You can do that too. All you'd have to do is just create a folder on top uh, or on your desktop or wherever you want it to be and do the same thing. Uh, go through your uh, folders or uh, right click the folder on your desktop and you'll have an option saying pin to quick access. That'll put a pin in it right here in your file explorer. So as for the saving, you want to save it as a PNG. The PNG is what comes out most clear, at least for me personally. Click save. Now it's saved as a PNG. So if I want to go and look for that photo that I just took and close out of all of these and go straight to this folder here and we have our photo ready to post to Discord. Uh, thank you guys for coming in and watching the tutorial. I hope this helps out a few people. Uh, at some point here soon, hopefully, I will have a video up on how to install the graphics. That's basically it. And I, once again, I appreciate you guys coming out and watching you know, the tutorial. I hope it helps out a few people. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and uh, shoot me a message. Either post a comment on the channel or on the video. Or if you have me on Discord, message me on Discord. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to help you guys out. Catch you guys next time. Later.